Working with IES lighting inside of Octane really couldn't be any easier and it's a really nice way of enhancing your scenes. So check this out. If we were to take a scene just like this and you can see a very low light, I'd basically just have a nebula type starry night as my HDRI here lighting the scene. So it's really dark. But if we just come right up into our objects, go into lights and add an octane IES light in here. You'll see that we don't get any change instantly, but right after that, if we were to take this IES light and let's rotate it just so we're looking more at its side. So it's facing straight down. So we can kind of simulate um, some kind of like street lamp or something like that. And I'll move it up into my scene. Now, if we were to go to a website like this one, ieslibrary.com, and you can browse through hundreds and hundreds and thousands of different IES lights. And it's as simple as selecting them and saying, download the IES light. Once you do that, you can just come right into your octane light that you have, go into your image texture and import that IES light in there. Once that's in there, you'll see your scene update. And now you can get some really awesome, interesting light shapes that aren't just like your standard spotlight or area light that actually have a really interesting cone and really replicate things that you would get from a street lamp or something like that. So definitely check out IES lighting and see how it can help improve your scenes.